Hey everybody, uh, this lesson is operations with scientific notation. So uh, there's our, our common core strand for our most grooviest teachers. So um, our question is how can we add and subtract, multiply and divide using scientific notation? Okay, so, so uh, numbers in scientific notation can be added and subtracted. Also, it can be multiplied and divided, we'll find out just in a little bit, by rewriting them uh, in standard form or just doing it directly. So here's an example right here. So this table shows the population of uh, the three largest countries in North America in 2011. Find the total population of these countries. Okay, so there's a lot of people in the United States, Canada, and Mexico. Obviously, the United States is more popular than, um, or has more population than uh, Canada and Mexico. All right, so um, uh, let's go ahead and uh, the first method is to write each number with the same powers of 10. Okay, so this is in United States is 10 to the 8th, Canada is 10 to the 7th, and Mexico is 10 to the 8th. So these are both 10 to the 8th, so we'll change this to 10 to the 8th, okay? So we're just going to, here's the United States, 10 to the 8th right there. Mexico, to change that 10 to the 8th, I want this to increase by one exponent, so I'm going to move that decimal to the plate, one place to the left, okay? So it becomes 0.338 times 10 to the 8th, and there's Mexico right below it right there. And then the next thing we do is we add the multipliers of our 10 to the 8th. So this is a multiplier with 10 to the 8th, this is a multiplier with 10 to the 8th, this is a multiplier with 10 to the 8th, so I'm going to add these numbers. So when we add decimals, we have to line up the decimals. Notice I did that right here. Okay, so I lined up those decimals right here, and I put a decimal right here, and then we can just go ahead and add. There's no carrying here. So 8 goes here, 3 goes here, 1 plus 3 plus 1 is 5 goes here, and then 3 plus 1 is 4, so it's 4.538, okay? That's our, uh, our the add-ins of our... Uh, our multipliers with 10 okay and then so our answer is that 4.538 times 10 to the 8th right there that's how many people there are they you just have to make sure you have the same powers of 10 all right the second way is to just to change them to standard form so this one here if I change uh, this to standard form since it's positive I move this to the right eight places okay move this to the right seven places and move this to the right eight places so so here's um, uh, the United States 310 million so the uh, Canada is 33 million eight hundred thousand and then Mexico is a hundred ten million and then we just add those together okay so when I add those together I get four hundred fifty three thousand uh, million eight hundred thousand and when I change that to standard form it gets us the same answer as we had before, and I left that down here just so we can check to verify our answers, okay? So that's how you add and subtract those guys. Well, we didn't do any subtraction. Let's do that here. So use the population ta the, uh, table, and how many more people live in uh, Mexico than in Canada, and write this in scientific notation. Okay, there's two ways to do that. I'm going to go ahead, since I had them in standard form already, I'm just going to subtract these numbers, okay? And just start subtracting. You have to borrow. So 0 minus 0 is 0, and I get 0, 0, 0. So here i got to take this 8, and i got to go over here and borrow from the 0. Well, I can't, so I borrow from this 11. I'm going to change this 11 to a 10, change this to a, a, a 10 right here, and then um, and then i got to borrow from this 10 and make this a 10 right here. So a bunch of borrowing and subtracting, okay? You guys know how to do that. So 76,200,000 more people in Mexico than there are in Canada, okay, which is 7.62 times 10 to the 7th. The other way is to, uh, once you have them to the same powers of 10, then we can just subtract those multipliers right there. And so we get uh, 0.762, so that's 0.762 times 10 to the 8th. And remember, uh, remember it has to be greater than 1, so what i got to do is move that decimal to uh, one place to the right right here. So it happens when I move that to the right, it's going to decrease that exponent by 1. So we get the, the same answer as we did over there, okay? All right, so multiplying and dividing. So uh, numbers in scientific notation can be multiplied and divided using the properties of exponents, okay? So when the sun makes an orbit around the center of the Milky Way, 
it travels 2.025 times 10 to the 14th kilometers. That's a long distance, okay? So that's how far it travels when it makes its uh, orbit around the, the center of the Milky Way. The orbit, this orbit takes 225 million years. So at what rate does the sun travel? Write the answer in scientific notation. Okay. So remember, distance equals rate times time. So the uh, we're looking for rate, so uh, the rate is uh, distance divided by time. And all I did was is I divided both sides by um, by the time right here. Okay, so if I divide that by time, divide by that by time, I get the rate equals. And it says, uh, at what rate does the sun travel? Okay, so, um, uh, so that means that we know the distance right here and we know the time. Okay, so... Um, uh, the time it takes is this 225 million years right here, okay, and the orbit around the center, it travels, this is our distance right here, 2.025 uh, times 10 to the 14th is the distance that the sun travels right there, okay, so when we plug all that in, let's change uh, 225 million to scientific notation, so I'm going to take this decimal that's right here and go back 3, 6, seven eight so I'm going to take it and put it right there 2.25 times 10 to the eighth okay and then now what we do is we just divide uh, the multipliers of 10 okay now uh, I'm assuming we don't have calculators so we're going to do this with long division okay before when we do long division the decimal has to be right here so I'm going to move it over two places which means move this decimal over two places and then carry it straight up there that's all I'm doing first I'm moving it over two places okay so I gotta move that one over two places also okay now I know that 225 times 10 is 2250 which is a little bit bigger than 2025 so I'm thinking maybe 9, so I'll do that over here, 225 times 9, okay? All right, let's see. So so now I'm going to multiply uh, 9 times 5. Don't give up on your multiplication skills, you guys. A lot of kids, you just want to give up, and then it just never gets better, you guys, when you do that. So I'm just refreshing how I was taught, and hopefully it'll refresh you a little bit too. 9 times 5 is 45, so I'll put the 5 down here carry the four up there. Remember doing that? You guys can do this, okay? And then we're going to do uh, nine times two is 18. And then what do we do with that four? 18 plus four is 22. So the two goes here and the two goes up here for the 20 part right there. And then one more time and then we do nine times two is 18 plus this two is 20. So I get 2025, which is what we want, 2025. So it's 0 0.9, that equals 0 0.9. Now we're going to take those, uh, uh, use the, the powers of 10 and do our properties of exponents. Okay, do you remember from um, uh, the last module, module 1, uh, what did we do with these exponents? Did we add them? Did we subtract them? Did we multiply them? Did we uh, jump ropes with them? No, we didn't. We subtracted these. So this is going to be 10 to the 14 minus 8 power, okay, which is 10 to the 6 power. So we have 0 0.9 times 10 to the 6. Okay, now this has to be... Uh, we've got to move that over one spot, so what happens is it's going to decrease that exponent from 6 to a 5, okay? So uh, what's the rate? It's 9 times 10 to the 5th kilometers per year right there, okay? And notice right here, nothing canceled, so we had kilometers per year right there. So try to answer the questions with the context of the problem right there. All right, let's try another couple here, all right? So um, uh, both of these revolve around distance equals rate times time, okay? Let's do the first one first, okay? There's two questions, so we'll just deal with this. Distance equals rate times time. Let's read through this here. Light travels at a speed of 1.86 times 10 to the fifth miles per second. That is our rate. It takes, the light, it takes light from the sun about 4.8 times 10 to the third seconds to reach Saturn, okay? That's our time. So approximately, uh, find the approximate distance of the sun to the Saturn. Uh, uh, okay, and then write the answer in scientific notation. So this is our rate. This is our time. So our distance is going to be rate times time. Okay, so we're just going to plug that in. So I get distance, or the rate of the light is 1.86 times 10 to the fifth, and it says uh, miles per second. So that's what I wrote. So m per s means miles per second. 
Now you see this second is going to cancel out with um, this second right here when I multiply it. So that is our, our time it takes is 4.8 times 10 to the third seconds. So the distance is going to be the multiplying, uh, the product of those. Okay, so notice this seconds right here and this seconds are going to cancel and I'm going to be left with miles right there. Okay, the M standing for miles. All right, so now what we do is we multiply the 1.86 times 4.8 and then group the tens together, 10 to the fifth times 10 to the third. That's all I did right there. And I'm just saving time right here, you guys. I know you guys know how to multiply 1.86 times 4.8. I'd write 1.86 times 4.8 right here, multiply uh, the 8 through and then multiply the 4 through and add them together and then move the decimal over 1 two, three spots with the final answer when you did that. So we get uh, 8.28 times 10 to the eighth miles. Remember, we add these exponents, okay? Don't change the base. It's 10 to the power eight or five plus three, which is eight right there. All right, here's number three. Okay, so this one's also distance equals rate times time. Light travels at a speed of 1.17 times 10 to the seventh miles per hour. There's our rate. Pluto's average distance, okay, I said that I emphasize distance because that's our distance uh, from the sun is uh, 3 trillion 670, um, uh, no, it's 3 billion, sorry, 670 million miles away. Okay, so there's our distance right there. On average, how long, so that would be our time, does it take the sun to reach Pluto? Write the answer in scientific notation. So distance equals rate times time. The rate is uh, 1.7 times 10 to the... Hello, Lucy. Sorry. Come back. That's okay. No, it's all right, honey. I'm almost done, so I'm just going to finish this up. Times 10 to the 7th, so here comes uh, our posse. And then uh, the distance is that right there, so we're looking for the time. So di time is distance divided by rate, so I'm going to do... The 3.67 times 10 to the 9th divided by 1.17 times 10 to the 7th. Now notice the miles are going to cancel right here. So miles over miles will cancel. When the minutes is in the denominator of a denominator, so it gets flipped up and it becomes our unit rate right there. Okay. So when I do that, you divide those guys right there. And we get, um, uh, remember, we subtract those exponents with 9 and 7 right there. All right. So the last part of the lesson, you guys, is talking about using calculators. We don't have calculators at our school, um, and a lot of schools don't. So I'm going to just skip that portion right there. And, and besides, you guys, uh, that right there. Take care.